Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. The pectoralis major is a thick, fan-shaped muscle, situated at the upper front, anterior, of the chest wall. It makes up the bulk of the chest muscles in the male and lies under the breast in the female. It arises from the anterior surface of the sternal half of the clavicle, from breadth of the half of the anterior surface of the sternum, as low down as the attachment of the cartilage of the sixth or seventh rib, from the cartilages of all the true ribs, with the exception, frequently, of the first or seventh and from the aponeurosis of the abdominal external oblique muscle. From this extensive origin the fibers converge toward their insertion. Those arising from the clavicle pass obliquely downward and outwards, laterally, and are usually separated from the rest by a slight interval. Those from the lower part of the sternum, and the cartilages of the lower true ribs, run upward and laterally, while the middle fibers pass horizontally. They all end in a flat tendon about 5 centimeters in breadth, which is inserted into the bicipital groove of the humerus. The pectoralis major has three actions. It flexes the humerus, as in throwing a ball sidearm, and in lifting a child. It also adducts the humerus, as when flapping arms. It also rotates the humerus medially, as occurs when arm wrestling. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.